Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be doing another Edge Router X speed test. This is to test the new firmware version 2.0.1. And the reason I wanted to do another uh, test with this firmware has to do with this line down here in the release notes that says uh, forwarding performance of version 2 firmware is a little bit worse than in uh, 1.10 says more CPU load and less throughput, which is more noticeable on the low power ER models, which is what we're gonna be using. We're gonna use the lowest edge router model, just the regular edge router X. So this got me a little curious. I kind of wondered how much worse this thing would perform with the new firmware versus the old one. And since I just did that speed test not too long ago, figured I might as well just do this and put it right up against the numbers from the last one. Now I'm actually running this new firmware on all of my edge routers because I like to live dangerously. Apparently I haven't really had any issues with it. It does say that uh, there's some stability issues, especially with uh, offloading enabled. And also it says IPsec offloading doesn't work on the edge router X. Haven't really tested that much. I don't use the regular IPsec site-to-site -site connections. I use OpenVPN instead, so I'm already limited by my CPU and already have limited performance there. But let's kind of just dive into this. I'm not really gonna do much explaining like in the last video. It's the same test environment, back-to-back -back, uh, PC baseline, and I've just got a connection from my desktop into an edge router and then the WAN port of that going to another desktop. So let's take a look at the graphs here. Here's the original baseline, so we're trying to hit 942 meg up, 941 down, 942 UDP. If you remember from the last video, there's wonky issues with UDP that I didn't quite understand. I've just accepted that at this point. And our 936 and 935 for our concurrent streams. So with this new firmware, default configuration straight out of the box. The only thing set up is the uh, default firewall, just ran the default setup wizard, did nothing else. And you can see that actually our numbers are a bit better than the last speed test we did. So where our first speed test did uh, 343 up, this new firmware has 706 meg upload and still a far ways off the baseline of 942, but that's a lot better than our last one and kind of continues across the board here. 421 download as opposed to 252 up in our last test and 50 concurrent streams got 675 versus 454 and 100 concurrent 717 megabits per second versus 442. Now I screwed up the UDP test on this one, but since UDP is wonky and it really doesn't make it much sense to me anyways, I just decided to not rerun that test. I forgot to enter my uh, maximum bandwidth command, so it ran it at, uh, I think it was like one and, a, one and a half meg or something like that. So we can ignore that one for now. So the next test was hardware offloading enabled. This was the one where the release notes said that offloading took a hit and doesn't perform like it used to in version 1.10. But if you look at this chart here, I really didn't see any difference at all. So it tied our last test on upload at 921 megabits, almost tied our uh, download, actually it beat our download in the last test, it got 941 megabits as opposed to 940, which is a negligible difference, but whatever, by the numbers it won. And UDP, I did that test right. Um, the only thing I noticed here was it had a lot lower uh, jitter, had 0.097 as opposed to 0.2 in our last test. And our 50 concurrent streams got 911 meg versus 909. And then with 100, it got 906 to 904. So really, if this chart really says anything, it's that it performs better with offloading enabled instead of worse. So that's pretty interesting. And moving on to our next test, uh, traffic analysis enabled. You can see it's almost the same story here. It uh, outperforms our last test. Uh, upload 924 on this test versus 920 on our last one. Download 941 meg versus 922 on our last test. And I know that my UDP test on this one was a little uh, screwed up the last time, but this test got right up there to the baseline and the jitter is also uh, 0.4 as opposed to 1.6 on our last test. And the only one that's a little interesting is the 100 concurrent streams where it actually performed worse than our last test of version 1.10. And now the last one, the QoS, the one that uh, I actually did the last uh, round of tests for. This one was a little weird with the new firmware. I don't know what was up with it. On the last one, I was just able to go in there, enable the uh, QoS Smart Queue, and start testing immediately. But this round, when I enabled the uh, Smart Queue, it actually didn't really work. So I have two numbers for this test. The uh, first bar is the first test I ran back to back right after enabling the Smart Queue, but I saw no difference at all. 
So either they reworked it to where QoS works at higher speed or it wasn't kicking in just from enabling it. And I tried it a few times. I kept hitting apply, it said smart queue is applied, it's working. But when I ran the tests, I was getting close to baseline numbers, which in my mind is impossible. So unless they did some black magic on this thing or something's wrong with the uh, configuration application. So the second number was after I actually disabled hardware offloading manually and I did get pretty different numbers from the default config so I think that kicked QoS in so what you have to do to enable QoS if offloading is already enabled apparently correct me if I'm wrong but you have to manually disable hardware offloading and then apply the smart queue so the speeds we got this time was upload 356 meg as opposed to 190 on our last test and download we got 369 meg as opposed to 210 last time so it looks like there's a really big difference here and that also continues into our concurrent streams where we got 580 um, with the 50 uh, concurrent streams and 591 with the 100 concurrent streams which is up a lot from the 309 and 316 meg tests that we did last time so I guess really the only conclusion I can uh, get out of this is that upgrading to uh, version 2 firmware really doesn't affect speeds and if anything it makes it better now I haven't used this in like real world scenario so I don't know if maybe this is buggy maybe these numbers are a little bit fudged maybe QoS isn't actually working I didn't really do a test to see if I noticed a difference with that uh, running in the real world but at least on the charts it seems to actually perform better which is surprising because the whole reason I ran this test was because it said it was gonna perform worse but do with that info what you will. Let me know if there's another test you want me to run or if you disagree with any of this. And uh, check out my last video if you're wondering where the rest of this info came from. And other than that, uh, have a nice day networking.